the age of the beta has long passed. The phase of gamma has now begun. Hello folks, Marshall here giving you an overview of the new introductory gamma update. Upon entering the game you'll notice something, or rather everything, is very different indeed. The entire menu system has been redesigned. On the right of the screen you'll find full patch notes of the most recent updates. Alternatively, on the other tab, you can view which and how many players are currently streaming Planetary Annihilation via Twitch TV. It also tells you how many viewers they have and the title of the broadcast, so you can tell at a glance whether you would like to view their stream. Selecting an individual stream will open up a new tab in your internet browser, taking you directly to the respective stream for instant viewing. Moving to the left of the main menu, you'll find your usual Play, System Manager, Tutorial and Settings buttons, however the latest update includes both the Armoury and Expanded Social features. Selecting the Armoury, you're able to view the commanders available to you, which depend on the game tier you either backed on Kickstarter or purchased post-funding. The active commander you select in your Armoury is the commander that appears in the centre of the main menu when in-game. Note the Delta Commander that you may have had access to during the Alpha and Beta phases will no longer be available if you did not purchase the Cosmic Edition from the Uber Store or were a backer of the $90 tier or above on Kickstarter. You are also able to view badges, which you have obtained also as a result of your tier backing or package purchase. Moving to the social features, the introductory patch includes the ability to add contacts or friends. You can do this either by using their username or their Uber ID, the latter of which is more difficult given it is a super long string of numbers. You will be able to filter game lobbies and replays based on contacts included therein. You will also be able to block certain users that you may wish to avoid for whatever reason. But why avoid someone when you can throw a moon in their face on the battlefield? As the Gamma phase moves forward, further features will be added to this section including chat systems and much more. Watch this space. The next big changes are in the Lobby Viewer, where you can now see the host, system name, customized team system of the game, and the starting planet along with the number of planets in the system. You also have the ability to filter games by number of players in this build of the Gamma, with more features expected as more are rolled out in the coming weeks. Hosting a game, you are able to select whether the game is hidden, friends only or public in addition to adding a password. As before, you can also load a system or get a randomly generated one. The next major change is in the inclusion of team alliances. To activate this game mode, you need to select team armies from the drop-down box. Now you can choose whether each individual team is either shared armies, the team games we're used to in PA, or leave them as individually controlled armies grouped in an alliance. Select share army to the right of the screen for toggling of the shared option. If you already have players in your lobby, changing modes will, while resetting the lobby, not kick those already joined. Also, currently there is no longer an option to change secondary colour. You can also choose between a wide variety of commanders that have been added in by clicking on the commander portrait. There is no longer the fuss of having to wait for all to ready as it is up to the host to start the game. When you enter into the game, you'll notice the UI has changed to a more condensed style. To view the players in game, you must hover your mouse over the drop-down menu in the top left. Similarly, the top right menu will show you the system planets. Speculate away as to why we are able to select the sun and system as a whole. Build options have now been placed on a grid rather than on a long line as before. Alerts have changed as well with new sound effects and the on-screen alert updates will show a picture-in-picture -picture view of the location if the mouse is hovered over it. On the topic of new sound work, we now have a glorious orchestral soundtrack included in the game. Finally, there are a number of balance changes among other changes to the game, such as nukes, auto-building once the launcher is complete. The Hystericles, formerly known as Titanium Insects, formerly known as Pounders, formerly known as Ants, is now once again renamed to the Alleged Tank. I don't even know anymore. Watch this space for many more updates coming throughout the initial stages of Gamma. It promises to be awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. That's all I have for you in this particular update video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I shall do my best to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe for more Planetary Annihilation content coming your way very soon indeed. Thanks again for watching, 
and supporting me as always. Have a nice day.